Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. I am so psyched to be partnered with Sephora for this video to let you know that today is the start of their annual Beauty Insiders Appreciation event. So you guys know that you never get a chance to buy high-end makeup and skincare at a discount and Sephora's annual event is the time to do it. Sephora will be showing their appreciation to their Rouge members by offering them first access to the event starting today Day, and Rouge members will get 20% off with the code YESRouge. So if you're a Rouge member, you can get your little red card out, polish it up, and get ready to start shopping today because not only are you going to get the 20% off discount, but Sephora has revamped their rewards program. So now you're going to get more points per dollar in your purchase, plus you're going to have more ways to spend your points, and you're going to have better rewards going forward. So it seems like a win-win to me, especially when you can't get this stuff on discount, it's a great time to stock up. Then VIBs will be able to start shopping on August 30th with the code YESVIB for 15% off. And on the same day, Beauty Insiders will be able to start shopping with 10% off code, which is YESINSIDER. The event is open in the US and Canada and running through September 3rd. You can shop as many times as you want in store, but you can only shop once online, so be careful with that online online using the discount. And there are exclusions that apply. I unfortunately can't get that Dyson hair dryer that I've been dying to get and a few other things, but the vast majority of the products in the store are included in the event. Since the event started today, I had to run my little tushy over to Sephora and grab a few things. The things that you guys have really been requesting a lot lately that I know you're interested in and I know you want to pick up at a discount if you're a beauty junkie like me and you have to have the newest and the latest and the greatest that's come out. So I wanted to give these things a try so I could tell you how they were and give you my opinion on whether they were worth it to purchase or not. The number one request for a review that I've gotten lately is for the Anastasia Norvina palette. Isn't this guy beautiful? I just love the color of this. I've always been like a purple person, so this is right up my alley. And my eyeshadow colors that I love are cooler. And I gotta say, this is the first time that Anastasia has actually come out with a palette that I am so drawn to. All their other eyeshadow palettes in the past have been very, very warm, very orange, rusty, red, gold, and I'm just more of a cool person. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh my God, that is so up my alley. I have to get that. Plus, you guys have been dying for a review on it. And I love how this is organized. The whole top row is all the shimmers, and then the whole bottom row is all the mattes. And the colors in here are just so beautiful. I just can't take it. So the colors I use today to do this eye look it's a really nice kind of burgundy fall look. This is going to be a great palette going into the fall, but I use pretty much this little quad of colors right here along with this one on my eyelid and this one deep in the crease. I can't wait to dive into these purple colors in here. They are so gorgeous. The really good thing about them is how they look on your skin. The color payout in this it's an Anastasia palette, so the quality is so good. The eyeshadows are pretty soft, um, but I didn't get a lot of fallout from them doing this look today at all, and I really like how it came out. And the other thing about this palette, I think, is that it's so versatile because you can do uh, you know, a burgundy kind of pinky look like this one. You could do that same look in all matte if you don't like the shimmers or the glitters, but then you could also do a really nice neutral everyday look, or you could really ramp it up and do something crazy in purple. So you get everything in this palette. So I think this is going to be a hot seller at the Sephora event this year. So if you're rude, get your hands on this day one. So for people who aren't looking for something this colorful, I can really recommend this Dior Backstage palette. This is the cool neutral palette. I've worn this a few times in other videos. It's gorgeous, but this is a great palette with a very similar uh, tones and things to the Norvina palette, a little bit more limited. So here is the Dior Backstage palette and here is the Norvina palette. So as you can see, the Norvina is definitely much more colorful. So if you're not into kind of that much color, you might be more interested in a little palette like the Dior Backstage palette. The next thing that you guys have been asking me about a ton is the Natasha Denona Transport Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. So I picked this up actually in a couple of colors. The shade I'm wearing today is 40N Light Medium Neutral. And I think it's a really great color match. It's 
It's a matte foundation, but it's not a flat matte. It doesn't look cakey. I'm really happy with it so far. I mean, I've only had it on for an hour, so it's not gonna be like we're gonna do a full day wear test, but so far so good. It looks really, really beautiful on the skin. I really like the finish on it. It's making my pores and all my texture on my skin look really nice and smooth, and it's not settling into uh, pores or wrinkles, which is always a deal breaker for me if it does that, or if it feels heavy or greasy or whatever. It's nice and dry feeling, and so far I really, really like it. If you're looking for a really Really good foundation that is a matte and oil controlling one. There were two other uh, releases that came out recently that I did do foundation Fridays on. One is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This one is really, really nice for more of a natural look, but it looks gorgeous on the skin. It did help control oil for most of the day. It was pretty smoothing. It was easy to work with. I really, really love this one. And the It Cosmetics CC Plus Oil free matte was another really good one this is more of a makeup look it's definitely more full coverage um, you know you can see it kind of sitting on the surface of your skin but if you like more coverage um, this was a nice one I can't say it controlled oil all day I did get kind of shiny in the afternoon and had to powder it or blot you can always pick up the original it Cosmetics CC cream or they have an illumination version if you like things that are even more you know dewy and luminous looking so no matter what you're looking for in the it Cosmetics CC cream you can find one to you know kind of fit your makeup personality. Then in a recent video I was talking about eyeliners because one of my favorite eyeliners is the Sephora contour liner and it's an eyeliner pencil and they just discontinued my favorite color and one of my viewers actually a lot of my viewers recommended the Marc Jacobs uh, eyeliner pencils instead and so I thought what the heck I will give it a try so I picked up two I was only intending on getting the matte gray one and this one is so pretty so I'm wearing that today in my waterline I swatched it on my hand the other day in the store and the next day the swatch was still on my hand like it didn't come off for anything so I was really really impressed with the wear on the Marc Jacobs liners so the gray one is called irony and the lavender metallic -y one is called lunatic and they are both so great I'm loving them then the other thing that since I was looking at eyeliners and some people had recommended to me the Kat Von D tattoo liner so I picked that one up I'm wearing that one today as well Can I tell you this one was so easy to put on I had done a um, video a couple weeks ago testing out new makeup and I tried a liquid liner from Stila that had a micro tip and it was so hard to work with and I was thinking you know the tinier tip the better nope not the case but I do like a really firm uh, almost like a felt tip marker, kind of a cross between a felt tip marker and a brush. And my favorite is the Clinique Pretty Easy, which if Clinique Pretty Easy is your favorite, you could pick up one of these in the event as well. But I thought, let me branch out a little bit. I need to start, you know, finding other things that I can recommend, not just one eyeliner. So I thought I'd try the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This was so easy to work with. So I'll let you know with a note down below how the um, tattoo liner wears throughout the day and I'll also put a note in the information box about how the foundation wore throughout the day so you'll have an idea about that. You guys have also been asking me about the new Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For line and so I picked up the sunscreen and the CC cream. This is their the Max Mineral Naked Broad Spectrum SPF 45 All Mineral and this is the Skin to Die For Mineral Matte um, CC cream with an SPF of 30. So I want to give these two a try. Haven't tried them yet. Hopefully they're going to be good. Um, something else that I grabbed this morning was this La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant. Thought I'd give that a try. Put it on this morning. How are my armpits doing? Oh my god, they don't stink. <laughs> hey, they actually smell good, kind of like vanilla. So anyway, this is supposed to be healthier deodorant. I've been looking for something like this. Um, I wanted to give it a try and so I'm so happy I did. This is like a little travel mini so I'm psyched about that. The other thing I picked up was a travel mini of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil because the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm is my favorite first step oil-based cleanser to get my makeup off at night and I love this and so this is a great thing to pick up at a discount as well so I'll probably grab one of these probably put it in my cart online and grab it there but someone had mentioned that this is 
a really good one to take when you travel. So again, in the queue on the way to the register, they had these, so I impulse purchased one of these to try. I have not tried it yet. I'll try it tonight and I'll put a note in the info box and let you know if I like it better than the balm or not. And then my standard recommendations for any VIB event is to pick up your more expensive skincare, uh, things like Drunk Elephant, this is my favorite product of theirs, is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. That's a great one to pick up. Um, things like the Summer Fridays Jet Lagged Mask. This contains um, ceramides and niacinamide, and it's a really nice moisturizer. It's also a little bit minty, too, so when you put it on, it just gives you this nice, like, zing of refreshment, which is why it kind of helps you wake up after traveling. So if you're, you know, doing a long-haul flight or something, and when you get there, you want to put on a moisturizer that'll help you wake up and be revived and refreshed. That's a really nice product for that. And of course, gadgets. I'm always recommending my new face. If you can ever get this at a discount, definitely it's the time to get it. I absolutely love this guy. If you already have the Trinity, you can just pick up the little eye ELE attachment. This is fantastic for lifting those hoods. And then to go with your new face, it's always great to pick up your favorite gel. If the new face gel is your favorite. I just bought this one full price last week. I am so bummed. But anyway, I'm happy I have it. But this is my favorite one. It is the Hydrating Leave-On Gel Primer. I actually don't leave it on though. I do wash it off. But it comes in two different sizes, so that's a good thing to pick up. All right, so that was everything that I kind of impulse purchased this morning and some of my top picks for what you can pick up at the event if you're Rouge and you're starting shopping today. And for those of you who shop at Sephora but you haven't signed up to be a beauty insider yet, it's not too late to sign up for this year's event. So if you just go to the link that's going to be in the information box below the video and click on it and sign up as a beauty insider, you'll be able to get the 10% off. So that's quick and easy to do. It's open to everyone. There is no minimum spending amount for you to do that. There's no card or anything. Thing. All you have to do is sign up and bam, in about a week and a half, you can walk in there and get 10% off on your purchase. So that is a win-win. I want to say thank you to Sephora for working with me on this video. So that's it for today's video. If you found it helpful and informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you for your time and really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.